Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie and Father's Day is coming up quick. My dad still does so much for me every single day. When I bought my new place, he came to LA for a few days, stayed in an air mattress in here, helped me with a bunch of repairs and just things I would not even be able to wrap my head around and he taught me a bunch while here as well. And you know, if I could do little things to show him how much I appreciate him, it's totally worth it. Father's Day is all about showing your dad how much you love him and with customized gifts, he can really feel the love all year round. In this video, I've collaborated with Shutterfly to show you some really unique and cost-effective gifts your dad can use every day. I really had my dad in mind when shuffling through the Shutterfly site, so I really have two main categories I am concentrating on in this video. The first is for the techie dad, and I think that these items are great individually or together. Here I have an iPhone case. You don't need to have a picture of you necessarily on these gifts. This is of my dad's dog, Izzy, who's pretty much his favorite little creature in the entire world. I'm thinking he, he kind of likes Izzy more than his two-legged family members. So I thought it'd be really cute to put that on there. And then the second techie item is this portable charger. And this is just awesome because my parents really love traveling so much. So obviously my dad, you know, he likes to be on his phone and having a portable charger is really handy when you're out and about. And the cool thing about these chargers too is that you can customize his faceplate and you can exchange them with other ones. So you can buy as many faceplates as you want. So this one I have another one of Izzy, which is one of his favorite photos of her. And then this one was a customized dad one with little mini pictures uh, from my childhood. And the process of getting this all made on the site is so simple. So pretty much I just collected a bunch of photos that I would potentially use uh, in these items. The family photos, the really old ones, are actually pictures that I took with my iPhone of these old photos. So they're not, they're not even scans or anything and they turned out so clear. So I'm really happy about that. So pretty much I just collected all these photos together, uploaded them onto the Shutterfly site and then just started applying them to different templates, seeing if I liked how it looked. You can really adjust how the photo looks on the different items. You can you know, do different fonts, text, whatever you want. It's so customizable that you'll definitely find something you'll like. But even if you wanna go super simple, like I did with Izzy's pictures, I think these are so cute as well. If you're not necessarily the most creative person ever and you just wanna do one photo, I think that's wonderful in itself. The next couple items are a little bit more traditional, but very thoughtful, all the same. My dad is a coffee freak. So when I think of customized gifts in that context, of course, I will think of mugs and to-go mugs. These are created with the exact same process as the previous items. This mug, I actually used one of their dad templates. So they already had this thing that said, world's greatest dad, and all you have to do is fill it in with different pictures. So for this one, I did a picture of me and my dad after swimming, and of course, I had to put Izzy in there, and then my sister and I, I think it was on my birthday, and then our most recent really nice family photo, which I think was during Christmas. And again, all these photos are from the iPhone, and I just think that they turned out so well. So I'm really, really happy with this one. For the stainless steel mug, I decided to just go with one large family photo. My dad loves bringing hot tea with him on long drives, so I thought this would be a great option for him. And this is my absolute favorite family photo of all time. This is when we were in New Orleans, so I thought this would just be a really cute and simple design for this mug. And paired with the two mugs, I have a pound of his favorite coffee. This is called Dead Man's Reach. I actually first got this coffee when I went to visit my friend in Alaska and Fairbanks. And this is just like a local coffee that I brought home for my dad. Whenever I go traveling, I try and find some new and interesting coffee for my dad to try. And I brought this back. He's crazy about dark roast and he just absolutely loved it. He went through it so quickly and never bought it again. He's just not the kind of person who would just go online and buy a specialty coffee, which I think he should. He should treat himself more. So I'm surprising him with another pound of his favorite coffee. I have one final thing that I kind of just did really last minute, but now that I have it in my hand, I'm just, I'm so happy that I made it for my dad. Uh, it's this little heart photo of me and my sister and it says, we love dad at the bottom. This is when we were in Iceland together. My dad actually took this photo. I think when you're younger as a kid, like in elementary school, your teacher kind of would make little frames for you so your parents could have it and put it on their desk at work or something. But of course, as you get older, you don't really do that anymore. So I thought this is kind of like an updated version of that and he can just put it on his desk and look at it every day. And you know, we had such a wonderful time together in Iceland and it could be a reminder that 
we really love him and appreciate him. I think Father's Day is just a really nice day to give your dad a little something, show him that you love him. Y'all gotta get a move on though because Father's Day is coming up. If you wanna order off the Shutterfly site, you gotta do it before or on June 12th because Father's Day is June 19th. So just gather those photos and create a really beautiful customized gift. Of course, the link to Shutterfly is in my description box down below, so make sure to check that out. I hope this gave you some inspiration for Father's Day. If you like this video, please subscribe. I love y'all and I'll see you the next one. Bye.